Hello everyone, I'm Mary Rose Corrigan, Public Health Specialist for the City of Dubuque with a December 10th, 2020 update from the Dubuque County Public Health Incident Management Team. Dubuque County's COVID-19 case total has reached over 9,800 cases, with 294 cases reported in the last seven days. And our 14-day average positivity rate is just under 13% but Iowa, Dubuque County, and the city of Dubuque are still red zones, and the White House Task Force continues to recommend more public health mitigation strategies. So is our slight decline in community spread due to less testing over the Thanksgiving week? Could be. Or is it due to more people masking or stricter limitations on indoor social, community, business, or leisure gatherings set forth by the governor a few weeks ago? I'd like to believe it's due to our citizens following the mitigation strategies in the governor's proclamation and limiting social gatherings and the people you interact with outside your household. Keep up the good work, everyone. Now is not the time to let our guard down. Many other areas around the country are experiencing big surges in cases, hospitalizations, and deaths. Remember, we are only a few personal decisions on our actions away from another local spike. That's one of the reasons why Governor Reynolds extended the COVID-19 emergency proclamation this week and continues to require that when people are in an indoor public space and unable to social distance for 15 minutes or longer, masks are required to be worn. The proclamation also continues to limit indoor social, community, business, or leisure gatherings or events to no more, to no more than 15 people. And this includes weddings and funeral receptions, festivals and conventions and outdoor gatherings continue to be limited to no more than 30 people. The proclamation also has limits on spectators at high school sponsored events and also includes youth and adult sporting events. Last week, I explained the new quarantine guidelines, which are a little complicated, but modified to both shorten the 14 day quarantine time and improve quarantine compliance for those people who've had an exposure to someone with COVID-19. Quarantine can now be 10 days if you have no symptoms and seven days if you get tested. Here's how it works. You have an exposure to a positive case. If you have no symptoms and don't develop symptoms or are asymptomatic, you quarantine for 10 days. If you wanna shorten that to seven days, you can be tested on day five or later of your quarantine period. And if the test is negative and you continue to remain asymptomatic, your quarantine period ends on day seven or seven days after your last exposure to the positive COVID case. Now in either case, whether you quarantine for 10 days or seven days with a negative test, you still should monitor for any symptoms for the full 14 days, because there's a slight chance you could still become positive. And of course, if you develop symptoms during your quarantine, assume you're positive and get tested and isolate for 10 days. So remember, quarantining without a test is 10 days. Quarantining with a negative test after day five is seven days. On a good news note, the first vaccine arrival day is getting closer to a reality, even for us here in Dubuque County. The Independent Vaccines and Related Biological Products Advisory Committee, or VRBPAC, is meeting today to give the FDA their input and recommendation on Emergency Youth Authorization, or EUA. The FDA will then rule on granting Emergency Youth Authorization. It's unclear how long that FDA approval will take, but it could be today. But at that point, that Vaccine deliveries will begin, even as soon as Monday, December 14th. All of these first doses will be administered to frontline healthcare workers in our hospitals, and this priority of healthcare workers has been established nationally. It's going to take about a month to vaccinate the first priority groups, which include all healthcare workers and residents and staff of nursing homes. The Iowa Infectious Disease Advisory Council is also meeting today to formulate further priority recommendations specific for the state of Iowa. As we head into the weekend and the holiday season, 
Make plans now for if or how you will gather with family or friends outside your immediate household during the holidays. We won't be vaccinated by Christmas, Hanukkah, or New Year's, so it's important to plan now. This CDC website has great tips for planning and carrying out the holidays in a COVID safe way, including for travel. In the meantime, you can still do some holiday baking, Christmas card mailings, decorating, and online or curbside gift purchasing to get in the holiday spirit. Have a great weekend, everyone, and think about spreading the holiday spirit to those who are alone or less fortunate than you. Give them a call, a gift, or mail one of those cards to someone who needs a lift. We can all get through this together.